gentlemen, and welcome to the Miss Ohio United States Supernational and International Pageant. Tonight, I'd like to welcome Kelly Kirstein, Miss, oh, or Miss United States Supernational 2015. She will be hosting you this evening. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. All right, so I know you don't really want to hear about me, so how about we get right on to the show? Please, if you will help me welcome to the stage the ladies who are competing for the titles of Miss Ohio U.S. International and Miss Ohio U.S. Supranational 2016. judging panel here with us tonight so allow me to introduce them to you while our girls prepare for the next phase of competition first up we have Leilana Quinn Leilana is your returning Miss Ohio American Beauty 2016 from Cleveland Ohio most recently she has placed top five at Miss American Beauty 2015 she's also competed in many other pageant systems placing and winning several titles she's double majoring in a business management and nursing is an experienced print and runway model and was model of the year 2015. Leilana will also be competing in Miss American Beauty 2016 in June and then the Miss United States pageant in August. Best of luck to her at all these national pageants. Next to Leilana, we have the amazingly talented Carl W. Graff III. Hailing from Maumee, Ohio, Carl is an 18-year published and award-winning veteran in the cosmetic industry. Born in Cleveland, Ohio, Carl started his career off working for MAC Cosmetics, where he was counter trainer and a product specialist. Later, to find himself following his dream of starting his own freelance company specializing in hand and airbrush cosmetics. In 2014, Carl teamed up with Face Junkie Cosmetics, a once boutique where he helped craft and create the Face Junkie cosmetic line released in 2015. Since then, you can find Carl's work at state and national pageants, LGBT pageants, ballroom dance, theater, FX, runways, photo shoots, and he's best known for his bridal makeup transformations featured in The Knot magazine. Our third judge this evening is Amy Allen of Akron. 
Ohio graduated from Mount Vernon Nazarene University with a bachelor's degree in international business with minors in Spanish and music and a master's in business administration. Amy started in pageants by representing Summit County in Ohio's Junior Miss Scholarship Program, has competed at Miss Black Ohio USA, and has held the titles of Miss Southern Ohio, Miss Akron International, Miss Akron Galaxy, Miss Akron Ohio United States, Miss Akron Essence, Miss Ohio Essence, and in 2015, Amy won the title of Miss Midwest Galaxy and finished in the top 10 at Miss Galaxy International. That is a pretty impressive resume. Amy is the social media coordinator for the Miss Wheelchair USA pageant held annually and Amy's platform in urban renewal through Habitat for Humanity, which she has been promoting since 2005. So now that you've met our wonderful judges, let's get to know the delegates a little bit better for the next phase of competition. This is the interview portion. Now, if any of you are at all familiar with pageants, you will know that the pageants usually have interview portion taking place prior to the stage event. Usually in a closed room, just the girls, just the judging panel. Well, here at Miss U.S. International and Miss U.S. Super National, we do things a little bit differently. We are the only pageant in which the audience gets to experience the entire event from start to finish. Every judge portion of the pageant is done on stage for all of you to enjoy, including the judges' interview. The delegates will take the stage one at a time, and they will be asked three questions, one by each of our judges. These questions are all based on her personal bio and will give us a little insight to her as an individual as well as a title holder. Now let me see if we have some of our girls ready. They might be powdering our noses real quick. Hmm. We love you, Kelly. I love you too. Love you, Kelly. you can interview me if you'd like. I'm here all night. <laughs> Where'd you get that dress? I got this from a resale shop, actually. Woo! Yeah. Yes. Kelly. Yes. How about you tell us what you've been doing during your reign? Oh, that would be wonderful. I actually went to Poland uh, this December. I competed at the Miss Supranational pageant there in Krynica, Poland. It is pretty similar to Michigan actually in December. It was very, very chilly. Um, I had an absolutely amazing time. I think I ate probably too many of the pierogies while I was there, but, and punchki. There's punchki everywhere. It was incredible. Um, not great for the swimsuit portion, but I have been able to grow my business tremendously since then. I run a business called Princess and Company. We provide costume character entertainment for little ones be it for birthday parties, birthday parties, excuse me, private events, charity events. I've been able to work for Make-A-Wish and the March of Dimes through it, so it's been extremely rewarding, actually. Crown and Sash certainly helped the princess business. <laughs> All right, are we ready? Are we ready, ladies? Give me one second. Are we ready? All right. Fantastic. Let's start with delegate number one, Camila Wahid, Miss Akron. Miss Akron, your bio says you are city of Akron peacemaker. Tell me about being a peacemaker in Akron in charity events. Yes, it's a very great experience to um, participate in my community and just keep the community uh, protected, as well as just offer a lot of um, safety, a lot of safety advice for my community. Considering Akron is a very small town, um, there is sadly a high violence rate. And so therefore being a peacemaker allows me to bring more positivity to my community. If you win the title tonight, how will you use it to impact and inspire your community? I will use my title to impact and inspire the youth. Um, I would love to work more in the community with um, the younger children, as well as more charities, um, such as the Haven Arrest. And, um, I would just like to bring more positivity to the community 
anything involving helping, I would love to do that. And um, just encourage more of the, just everyone in my environment. Okay, I see that you have volunteered at the Ridgewood Healthcare Center. What is the most awesome healthcare moment that you have? Um, one of the, it's somewhat sad, but it was an awesome moment, it was when my great grandmother, Mary Hill, she passed away at Ridgewood Healthcare Center. And it was an older man, his name was Harold. And I had spent a lot of time with him during my four years. And during that time when my grandmother was, um, was, was passing, he told me that he loved me, and coming from him, you know, not knowing this person that long and not being a family member, that really, it helped me with grieving, and um, I appreciated that moment, so. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Camila. <laughs> Up next, we have delegate number two, Brittany Yonkman, Miss Belle Fonten. What was your influence that inspired you to pursue a career in education? Um, what inspired me to pursue a career in education was being a mentor in high school to middle school students. Um, and that led me to um, pursue a career in education when I went to college. If there was one thing you could change about the educational system, what would it be? If I could change one thing about the educational system, um, I would change somewhat how we test students. I think standardized tests are important to monitor students' progress. However, not all students um, can score well on standardized tests. Um, all students learn differently and show their educational on um, how um, their brilliance in other forms besides standardized tests, and I think there needs to be other alternatives besides just standardized tests to evaluate students, how much they learn that year, and how well ed educators have taught students that year besides one um, end of the year test. Brittany, what is your marketing plan for this title? Please be specific. My marketing plan for this title is to um, travel around Ohio, um, talk about this pageant system, what it's done for me, the other girls, what an amazing opportunity that this is, um, how blessed I am to be part of this pageant system. It's a wonderful, amazing opportunity and a chance to get back to your community where I come from and just all over Ohio and represent um, this pageant system. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Brittany. Up next, let's welcome delegate number three, Regina Alvarado, Miss Cleveland. It said you took HR management. What did you learn to get involved in your society when it comes to diversity? Um, well, as I take um, HR management, um, at school, you learn a lot about communication with others. Um, you learn about how to handle situations, um, whether they're negative, whether they're positive. So what I take from that is kind of just as helping my community, I can learn how to communicate better with others. Um, I can also kind of like be able to handle situations better, whether they're negative or positive. Um, and being a leader in my community, um, that says a lot, because um, I do volunteer, I do help a lot in my community as much as I can. So being able to communicate with others, being able to stand here, being able to talk to people, whether it's positive or negative, like I had mentioned earlier, um, is a great thing. And I think that was awesome for me, um, especially working in HR. Tell me what it means to be a leader and a role model. Um, to me, to be a leader, um, and a role model, I kind of take it as they correlate together um, because to be an eater, a leader, you need to be a role model to your community. Like I said, I help a lot um, in my community center. Um, I'm a leader in school, in my family, with my friends. Um, I wanted people to look up to me 
and say, you know what, I want to be just like her. Um, I help a lot with little girls in the community too, also at um, a local community center, and I want them to know that they can do anything they want. I'm going to be graduating college with my bachelor's degree, and I hope to pursue further education. Um, as you see, I am involved a lot in my community. I love to participate in pageants. Um, I am an autism advocate. And I also believe that they can do anything that they want. So I want to stand up and be a leader to them. I want them to look at me and say, you know what, I can do it too. In your paperwork, you say that you speak Spanish. Por favor, contesta a la última pregunta en español. Okay. ¿Cuál es la pregunta? Oh, la última pregunta. Um, ok, pues como yo he dicho, yo trabajo mucho con la comunidad. Um, para mí, hacer un ejemplo para la niña, para los niños en mi comunidad es algo bien importante para mí. Yo quiero que ellos sepan que no importa, este, no importa de dónde tú vienes, no importa la economía de tu familia, no importa tu educación, eh, lo que importa es tu esfuerzo. Tú tienes que poder, este, tú puedes superar lo que sea. Básicamente, tú puedes hacer lo que tú seas, no importa, um, como yo he dicho, no importa tu estatus en escuela, tu trabajo, lo que sea, después que tú trabajes duro, um, tú, puedes, tú puedes hacer lo que tú quieras. Yo quiero que, como yo, como ejemplo, um, yo soy una líder en mi comunidad y yo quiero que todo el mundo me mire a mí y me di, y digan, ok, ella está haciendo bien, yo quiero ser como ella, yo puedo superar lo que sea. Gracias. Bueno, gracias. I wish I had subtitles for that one. Uh, up next is going to be delegate number four. In your opinion, what is the most important 
thing about being a title holder? The most important thing about being a title holder is having a platform and knowing what you stand for and what the system that you're competing in stands for. In your paperwork, you spoke about your passion for self-esteem build, self building and bullying. Please tell us about um, this in your platform. As a kid, from junior high all the way through high school, I was a victim of bullying, so I made a promise to myself that I would go back into the school district where I was bullied at and I would make a difference and I would let the kids know that they're not alone and there are people who have went through the same situation as them that has overcame. So I just wanted to be a difference, to make a difference and stand out and be a representation for the young girls that are battling that. Thank you. Delegate number six, Alyssa Ellers, Miss Kent. Miss Kent, your story of self-doubt holding you back is a tale told often in pageantry. The opposite of what common perspective is on a pageant girl? What is the final push? What is it that finally pushed you to step out in front of the curtains? Well, I was always a behind the scenes kind of girl. Um, I was very, very passionate about photography and that led me to pageants. Headshots, glamour shots, things like that. Um, <laughs> sorry. Actually, uh, my very best friend passed away in her early 20s and she always wanted me to be that girl outside of the curtain because she felt like I was an inspiration to other people. Um, so that's really kind of what got me out here. Um, and things just fell into place. I talked to the right people and it just, it was time, so. Your artistic talents are very extensive. Which form of art is your favorite and why? Personal favorite is painting, for sure. Um, I do a lot of marbling with my hands and things like that, so it's very kind of refreshing <laughs> outside of the box, more so. I see that dys dyslexia has influenced your artistic style. Please tell us about how sewing and design has um, influenced your life. So, um, growing up and all throughout high school, uh, I was never actually diagnosed with dyslexia. I was kind of put in a room, just told that I couldn't really be helped, that kind of thing. I wasn't really looked at as a work in progress. I was kind of looked at as a just kind of push it to the side kind of girl. Um, late, later in my high school career, I had a tutor that actually uh, asked my parents to get me tested and everything like that for um, a learning disability. And it turned out it had nothing to do with my intelligence or my comprehension skills or my communication skills. I just saw things differently than everybody else. And that talent of seeing things that other people may not be able to see is there just really is a benefit in the artistic community. Thank you. My pleasure, thank you. Sometimes it gets a little rowdy, but it's really fun. 
Tell us about your platform, Child Abuse Prevention, and what you have done to promote it and the fund and fundraising for it. I am a daycare director, so I work with children every day, and there's been many instances where I recognize that there was child abuse in a home. So something I do at work is when parents enroll, I educate them on the symptoms and signs of awareness and just what to look for, because a lot of parents don't know that one in three children are physically, sexually, and mentally abused as a child. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Danae. Bell Fountain. 
Alyssa Ellers, Miss Kent. another round of applause. So great job, ladies. I think that's everyone's favorite part. <laughs> now, while they prepare for the final phase of the competition, it's time to acknowledge the amazing sponsors who have come together to help make sure that Miss Ohio U.S. International and Miss Ohio U.S. Super National leave, winners leave tonight with an amazing prize package and a wonderful pageant experience for all the ladies competing here tonight. And we are so grateful to them. First, we would like to thank Blue Sky Swimwear out of Daytona, Florida for sponsoring the competition swimwear for the two winners tonight to wear down in nationals in Florida. Blue Sky Swimwear is an online retail outlet at www.blueskyswimwear.com and they have a wealth of swimwear and activewear for all shapes and sizes. So be sure to check them out online and watch your photos from nationals of the girls in their sponsored suits. Braid Smiles, formerly Columbus Teeth Whitening, is sponsoring both Miss Ohio U.S. International and Miss Ohio U.S. Super National with $350 worth of teeth whitening packages, so their smiles will sparkle for sure. Georgie's Salon and Spa in Fairlawn has sponsored both Miss U.S. International, Miss Ohio U.S. International, Miss Ohio U.S. Super National with a cut and style by the incomparable Georgie Harrow himself. Lori Williamson of Perfectly Posh has generously sponsored both Miss Ohio U.S. International and Miss Ohio U.S. Supernational, an amazing gift basket full of products from their line of beauty and products, and she will be giving each of the, each of the delegates a gift of product as well, so thank you so much for that, Lori. Save Your Skin Studios in Akron has sponsored both Ohio U.S. International and Ohio U.S. Supernational with spray tans for nationals. The girls can have the sun-kissed look without the sun exposure, which is very important. Heather of ha Heather Haraba Studios has sponsored coaching for both Ohio U.S. International and Ohio U.S. Super National to prep them for nationals. Christy Woolard of Unique Products has sponsored each of the winners and runner-ups the gift of 3D mascara from Unique. Yasin Cuevas of Project model generously donated her time today to give the girls a pageant workshop to help them refine their skills for taking the stage tonight. Thank you so much for all the work that you do, not just for the young ladies here today, but for the young ladies whose lives you've touched throughout the whole project of model. Thank you. Throughout today, the delegates have been shooting a fashion photo shoot with the amazing Alyssa from Lisa Noel, Noel excuse me, Photography. The photos have been amazing, and the girls each received some as part of their entry package. CDs will be available for sale, as well as information on how to purchase will be on the pageant website following the pageant today. 
Also throughout today, Tony McNeil of FPM Media has been shooting footage of today's events, as well as the pageant tonight and is putting together a DVD for the girls. This DVD will also be available for sale to the general public and information on how to purchase will be on the website following the pageant. And now to the final judging portion of the competition. The evening gown competition. Each delegate will carefully has selected this gown to reflect her personal style, her personality, and her taste. This is absolutely the most glamorous part of the competition, and it's definitely my favorite. So I'm gonna see if our girls are ready for it. Do we have all of our ladies ready? Not just yet. Okay. Well, we can talk about something else for now. That's quite all right. Let's see. Well, we could talk about our experiences down in Florida last year. I did compete for both U.S. International and U.S. Super National. I was first runner-up at Miss U.S. International, and my very good friend Lindsay was awarded the title. She had an absolutely incredible time in Japan. I got to see so many pictures. I wish I could have gone to see her. And whoever wins the title of Miss Ohio U.S. International will be competing for her title down in Florida this June, as well as my title for whoever wins Miss Ohio U.S. Super National, which I'm not really ready to give up, but I guess these girls are worth it. <laughs> All right, are you ready? Yeah. Fantastic. We're going to start with delegate number one. Let's welcome Camila Wahi, Miss Akron, to the stage. <laughs> Now they come to get a so violent You think you broke my heart, oh girl, for goodness sake You think I'm crying on oh my own, well I ain't And I didn't want to write a song Cause I didn't want anyone thinking I still care or don't But you still hit my phone up And baby, I'll be moving on and I think it should be something I don't want to hold back Maybe you should know that My mama don't like you and she likes everyone Let's welcome delegate number two, Brittany Youngman, Miss Bell Fountain Didn't see what's going on but now I know I'm not asleep on my own cause if you like the way you look that much Oh baby, you should go and love yourself And if you think that I'm still holding on to something You should go and love yourself But when you throw the world so you my friend only problem up next is delegate number three, Regina Alvarado, Miss Cleveland. Try to make me forget where I came from. And I didn't want to write a song. Cause I didn't want anyone thinking I still care or don't. But you still hit my phone up. And baby, I've been moving on. And I think it should be something I don't want to hold back. Maybe you should know that My mama don't like you and she likes everyone And I never like to admit that I was wrong And I've been so caught up in my job Didn't see what's going on And if you think that I'm still holding on to something, you should go and love yourself. Number five is Asia Dawson, Miss Illyria. I fell in love, now I feel nothing at all. I never felt so low when I was grown up. Was I a fool to let you break down my walls? Cause if you like 
the way you look that much Oh baby, you should go and love yourself And if you think that I'm still holding on to something You should go and love yourself Next is delegate number six, Alyssa Ellers, Miss Kent Oh baby, you should go and love yourself if you think that I'm still holding on to something, you should go and love yourself. <laughs> Don't need permission, make my decision to test my limits. Cause it's my business, God is my witness, stop what I've been missing. as well as our new Miss Ohio U.S. Super National title holders. with us tonight, who we will be having come up. They have, will also be representing Ohio at the National Pageant of American Beauty down in Orlando at the same time as U.S. International and U.S. Super National this summer. We're going to invite these ladies to the stage now and officially crown them as the 2016 hype title holders. Here to help me with the crowning is Miss Teen Ohio American Beauty 2015, Becca Lawley, and Ms. Ohio American Beauty 2015, Caroline Perinda? Perinda. Don't be shy. I'm only up here. All right. And now introducing for the very first time, our little Miss Ohio American Beauty, Chloe Clark. Is she not 
repeat the same. Perfect. Now hold tight for some photos real quick. Look right back there, honey. <laughs> Congratulations, Chloe. Our next title holder is Miss Teen Ohio American Beauty, Audrey Clark. Welcome to the stage, our reigning Miss Ohio U.S. International 2015, Stephanie Miranda, as she takes her final walk on stage as Miss Ohio U.S. International. How fast does a year pass by? As fast as the blink of an eye. This year has been filled with memories, emotions, friendships, events, and the most important, growth. Since the day I was crowned, I haven't stopped giving thanks to my beautiful family that with every step have helped me grow into a respectful person. To everyone that has been there from the beginning, friends, coaches, photographers, I can't thank you enough. I wouldn't be the same person without each and every single one of you. To my sponsors, thank you for making this average girl feel unstoppable. To Ritz Original and the staff at Ritz Prom and Pageant, thank you for my perfect evening gown. I guess winning best gown at nationals wasn't too shabby. To the Alzheimer's Association, thank you for letting me get involved with something that is so close to my heart. To my community, let's just say it takes more than just one person to make a queen. Without all of you, I wouldn't be here. To the Miss Ohio U.S. International Director, Christy, thank you for the opportunity of a lifetime. Placing top 15 at nationals was an incredible feeling. I'm going to miss your amazing personality. To my pageant sister, Caitlin, I enjoyed all the time we have spent together. And I can't wait to make more memories. God, thank you for placing this incredible journey in my path. To the amazing ladies competing for the title tonight, Take a deep breath, you all look beautiful, and you gave it all that you could. To the lucky lady that will be crowned tonight, take this new journey as a blessing. Never get caught up because time will fly. Be the best role model and always know you can be better than yesterday. Today I passed my crown, but I will always be Estefani Miranda, your Miss Ohio U.S. International 2015. Unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to our reigning Miss Ohio U.S. Super National 2015, Caitlin McGinnis, as she takes her final walk on stage as Miss Ohio U.S. Super National. This past year has been nothing short of a whirlwind, and there are truly no words to describe my experience. I am so grateful for the system and the opportunities it has opened up to me. 
Becoming Miss Ohio has been a dream of mine since I was a little girl, and it has been an honor to be your Miss Ohio Super National. I hope I can be a reminder to everyone that hard work, confidence, and believing in your path will always pay off. Some highlights of this past year have been meeting multiple mayors in my community, my photo shoots with Georgina Vaughn and DSW Photography, walking in the Trace Arelli Fashion Show, and working with my community on my platform of encouraging girls and young women to embrace all that they are. But I wouldn't have made it through this year without the love and support of my friends and family. First, I want to thank my mom for being the definition of a support system and the world's most laid-back pageant mom. Thank you for being my Pennsylvania driving buddy. Jose, you are the best friend I could have asked for, and you will always hold the title of world's best pageant boyfriend. Shout out to Pageant Dreams by Jose for all of our early morning pageant walking sessions, and thank you for being the first one to encourage me to chase my dreams. Lily, I can't wait to see you on a stage like this one day. Angelica, thank you for not thinking I was completely crazy whenever I told you you were going to be my best friend, and thank you for being an amazing soul sister. Heather Habura, you are forever my blonde older sister and a lifelong friend. You have truly shaped me into the best form of myself. Yasin, thank you for whipping me into shape, and Christy, thank you for being such a dedicated director. <laughs> and above all else, God, for creating me in his image and for my everlasting crown of salvation. You provide all things in your perfect timing. To the girls today, just breathe and have a blast. And to the next Miss Ohio U.S. Supernational, make every day count because it goes by faster than you can imagine. Forever your Miss Ohio Supernational 2015, Caitlin McGinnis. These amazing young women will really be missed by our entire organization. Thank you so much for all that you have brought to these titles. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. All right, let's welcome to the stage for the final time this evening, the delegates vying for the titles of Miss Ohio U.S. International and Miss Ohio U.S. Super National. All the times that you ain't on my parade Ooh. And all the clothes you wear in my way you think I'm crying on my own while I 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 think I'm crying on my own we are excited to award the coveted Miss Congeniality Award. The girls have spent the last few months getting to know each other via social media and have made a few appearances together and throughout today have become quite close friends rather quickly. The girls voted and we do have our Miss Congeniality. Will Alyssa Ellers, Miss Kent, please step forward. Congratulations. Now that is a really special title because the girls have voted for this one. <sighs> but I know you guys just want to hear the next two, yeah? <laughs> All right, let's get down to the final awards. We are crowning two state title holders. Both are equal titles with equal status and equal prizes. Both winners will represent Ohio at the National Pageant in Florida for the opportunity to represent the United States at an international pageant overseas. The first title we will be awarding tonight are for U.S. Super National. Caitlin, will you please join us on stage for the last time as Miss Ohio U.S. Super National. <laughs> now we have a first runner up for Miss Ohio U.S. Super National. And this young lady will be taking the place of Miss Ohio U.S. Super National should for any reason she should not be able to her duty. First runner-up to Miss Ohio U.S. Supranational is Gabriela Ramirez Columbus.
congratulations, Gabriella. Whew. All right. So the young lady who will be representing Ohio in Florida this June and throughout the year as Miss Ohio U.S. Super National 2016 is Regina Alvarado. <laughs> U.S. International 2016 and the young lady who will take her place if for any reason she cannot fulfill her duties as Miss Ohio U.S. International is Alyssa Eller, Miss Kent. in Florida this June to compete for the national title and representing Ohio throughout the year. The title of Miss Ohio U.S. International 2016 is Danae Redding. Yeah! 